Today's video, we're going to talk about can you use your Mac mini to edit videos? Let's find out. Hi, my name is Ben Jimfield, and if this is your first time here, welcome. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss my upcoming videos. Having said so, let's get right into it. So, the Mac mini can you use it for editing videos? Now, I get this question quite a lot lately, ever since I released my Mac Mini, which is kind of weird because I, I felt that I described it there, but maybe it was, you know, people need more explanation. So that's fine. I love talking, so let's just do this. Okay, so let me explain something to you guys. I bought this in like 2013, I think, and I didn't really have, I, I couldn't really afford to get something like a MacBook or build my own Hackintosh or anything like that. This is what I could afford. And I needed it because I just was dying to use Final Cut Pro because I was just tired of PowerLink CyberDirector. And I just, I needed something, oh, sorry, not CyberLink PowerDirector actually. I needed something that was good. And Final Cut Pro, from what I could tell, felt like the perfect software for editing videos. So I needed a Mac computer uh, because I was gonna edit our first uh, two hour video, The Consultant. And then we did a second video called uh, The Deserters. It was a war movie. Two movies that were approximately two hours long. The first one is a bit shorter. And I did it on this thing. Now these movies were in 1080p. And I gotta tell you, like it wasn't the fastest experience, but it was totally doable. Uh, what I had to do, because here's the thing, uh, Final Cut Pro uses a lot of RAM. You know, this one, I upgraded to 16. I changed it myself. You can, you know, remove this thing and put it in yourself. Uh, so 16 gigabytes of RAM. And the problem is that when you have a really long video in Final Cut Pro, that's when you start to notice how much RAM you actually need. So I had to do, I had to play it smart. Like every project I did in Final Cut Pro, it was like a scene, you know, just a 10 minute scene or a five minute scene. As long as I kept to that, was a fluid experience and then when I was done with all those scenes I could just start a new project and I just I could just import all the scenes and export them so that's how I did it it worked and there's also something in Final Cut Pro called the proxy setting where basically uh, Final Cut Pro creates a very low resolution version of your video just for editing purpose and you edit in the low res version and then when you export you just flip it to the full resolution and export it and you don't have to uh, it's just brilliant programming if you think about it anyway with the proxy setting in Final Cut Pro I gotta say like if you get like a new Mac mini even if, though it doesn't have a dedicated memory card or video card you could definitely edit 4k videos on this thing now having said so not saying that you'll get the most fluid experience. Um, like if you want a really fluid experiment, you get something like the MacBook 15 inch because that one has a dedicated memory card or an iMac with a dedicated memory uh, video card. Sorry, I can't, I keep messing up my words today. I used my um, late 2013 MacBook Pro Retina for editing videos, or at least I did when I was having my GoPro channel, and I edited maybe more than like 200 4K videos, so it's totally possible. And I think that you could get the same if you get like a whole completely new Mac Mini for like $500 or where they're at. I would not recommend getting an older version uh, for editing 4K videos, like if you get one on eBay or something. If you're just gonna edit in full HD, you'll be fine. 4K, that's pushing it a little bit. The only reason for this is it's not really the fact that it doesn't have a dedicated video card. It's the fact that the, the older uh, built-in video cards, they don't have support for 4K. And that's why I wouldn't really uh, recommend it. But I'll be honest, I did some tests and I have tried to edit 4K episodes of Vin Genfield on this late 2012 I think it's 2012, I think it is. Um, I just don't remember. And I could definitely edit uh, a 4K video 
like just hit the proxy setting and you'll be fine then when you export it now it didn't actually take that much longer to export the video project but importing the project that took the most um so i did a lot of tests where i compared you know with my hackintosh with my macbook and uh it, it works you can totally do it if you plan to do it for video editing definitely definitely if we're talking garage band oh hell yeah obviously you can you got lots of ports here yes you have a headphone jack <laughs> so you can definitely use this for making music as well so this is a really good affordable piece of hardware i've said this before and if you're into video editing and you want to play with final cut pro this works great baby seriously it works great okay i think uh i think it's time for that intro no i mean outro can't get the words right today mm. okay that was it hope you enjoyed this video and if you did see that like button smash it and i got some freakishly awesome videos coming up better subscribe so you don't miss a beat i'll see you later peace